Here's the here's the here's a it's a hard it's a hard question. It's like saying is is Arimidex and the aromatase inhibitors will they prevent you from getting gyno? Well, yes and no. Um, if you have a lot of glandular tissue already, um, there's nothing that Arimidex or any of the aromatase inhibitors will do to get rid of the glands. Okay. If you're prone genetically to hair loss, finasteride lowering DHT will help and maybe slow hair loss. But it's not going to make you regrow hair, and it's not going to prevent you ultimately from losing, you know, the hair that you're genetically programmed to lose. Um, I've been taking finasteride since, for, since like 2000, okay? So for 20 years, I've been taking finasteride. It kind of stopped a lot of my hair loss and really slowed it down tremendously. But I never really regrew hair, but I haven't lost, I, I think I probably would have lost a lot more had I not taken it. Um, but I'm a very, very high DHT converter in my body, and I'm, and I'm probably, gen and I never lost a hair on my head till I turned 30, so it was weird, it was like the genetic time clock clicked in. Then you see guys in our industry, and I'll, I'll name names, and we know who, who's got the best head of hair. I mean, Jay Cutler's got the freaking best head of hair of all time. He's used anabolics before, okay, and I'm sure, and you know, he's just never going to lose his hair because some guys don't lose hair. King Kamali's got the greatest hairline of all time. I mean, it's down to his eyebrows. I mean, that's just genetics. He's not prone to hair loss. Why some guys are and why some guys aren't, who the heck knows? Can finasteride, you know, turn you into the guy who doesn't lose his hair? No. Can it slow hair loss? Yes. What I recommend people do though, if you notice your hair thinning, start with like a product like my Testalyze product, which kind of naturally prevents DHT uh, conversion or testosterone to DHT conversion. Because finasteride is very, um, it's strong, let's put it that way. And a lot of guys do have sexual dysfunction issues. I never had that problem, luckily, thank God. Um, but a lot of guys have, you know, because DHT, some DHT is necessary, you know, for your body to get erections and get aroused. Um, that's what it's for. So finasteride would be a last resort type of thing to use. I would try Testalyze three pills twice a day. If that kind of slows down your hair loss and, and reduces it, maybe even gives you a little regrowth, great, okay? If you're a complete hair nut and you, and you really, you want to try the finasteride, do it. But if you stop finasteride, you lose the hair that you regrew. It will fall out. So, or even, you know, it'll start up again pretty quickly. So you got to stay on, you got to plan to be staying on this for a long time. If you're not going to stay on it for the rest of your life, then, then don't even take it. You know, like I said, use Testalyze. It's less severe and you're not going to get the sexual dysfunction from it.